Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about sunflowers and their relatives. Let's botanize. Sunflowers, like this Helianthus tuberosus, are members of the Asteraceae, which is the most diverse family of eudicots. The eudicots are one of the main lineages of flowering plants, which we talked about in a previous video. The Asteraceae are also known as the composites, and that's because of the unique way that they construct their flowers. In the Asteraceae, what we perceive as one singular flower is actually a cluster of many tiny individual flowers, which together form a structure that we call the capitulum. The capitulum is made up of two distinct flower types. The flowers in the center are called the disc flowers and the flowers on the perimeter are called the ray flowers. In the capitulum, the functions of reproduction and pollinator attraction are divided between the disc and ray flowers. The disc flowers have highly reduced petals, but bear all of the reproductive parts, including anthers for pollen production and ovaries for seed production. The ray flowers, in contrast, lack all the reproductive organs, but have very showy petals which are usually fused into one large structure. The placement of many ray flowers along the perimeter of a cluster of disc flowers produces a showy structure that attracts pollinators and leads to successful reproduction. With over 32,000 described species, the Asteraceae family is globally distributed and occur in a variety of different ecosystems and habitats. The family is also important horticulturally, and there's a good chance that you have some of these species growing in your garden or in your backyard. 